more number of diseases as compared to the plant cell because of comparatively high diseases uh, we we have to take more vaccine and more antibiotics for it and animal cells do also produce vacuoles but in plant cells vacuoles possess water now organs of immune system first immune system is the system which protect us from the uh, other or uh, pathogens or environmental pathogens like uh, our skin protect us from many pathogens otherwise our blood comes in contact with and uh, are uh, profitable for the plants then our second immune system in human is our nose our nose possesses cilia and mucus which helps to uh, at least counter some of the microorganisms which are harmful to us and lastly i want to thank all of you for listening me with this much of patience as we all know that food microbiology and food biotechnology is a tech, uh, is an application and study of a food borne diseases as well as a ma uh, manufacturing and processes of a food so it is very much important to consider and shed light on this topic so first of all i want to uh, explain what is food borne diseases uh, the food borne diseases are the diseases which are which are caused 
by uh, microorganisms like E. coli and others like bacteria, viruses and fungi. Like, okay, so um, foodborne diseases are caused by microorganisms. So how the foodborne diseases and how the microorganisms cause these illnesses? So when the food is open, so uh, these microorganisms grow on that food and uh, start metabolizing. And when they start growing and metabolize that uh, vitamins, minerals, whatever uh, contains in the food, when they start metabolizing, uh, the byproducts and the uh, metabolites are, uh, uh, and also they, uh, with the metabolizing, uh, uh, metabolizing the food, uh, they, uh, they, ex they, they, they expose, uh, they expose many harmful, harmful uh, materials in that food and when we eat that food when we eat, uh, when we consume that food uh, we suffer from uh, uh, diseases like food poisoning cholera and uh, many more so the uh, thing is that uh, when uh, when it is about the food borne diseases it is very much important to take some precautions like we have to cover our food with a uh, with a foil aluminum foil or we have to protect our food from uh, house flies mainly house flies uh, we all see that uh, in our uh, weddings and all, uh, all the foods are not uh, that much covered. So when we uh, when we go for the stall and that, and we uh, when we come to home and we have just these uh, disease and a food poisoning. So uh, most important thing in food born illness is that we have to uh, consume food with the precautions. The food should be covered, and other precautions should also be taken. Like uh, and if uh, and if also if you are suffering from a foodborne diseases, it's not that much uh, uh, detrimental or that you just have to take some antibiotics and other things which can definitely uh, cure that uh, cure that uh, illness. But most important thing is that we all say that precaution is better than cure. And. Um, Okay, so I will uh, end with this. So I will, I will suggest all, all of you to cover your food, please. And whenever you go to uh, any uh, uh, weddings and all uh, fast food, please make sure that you uh, uh, you aware that the food is covered and you will not get those uh, mi microorganisms uh, in your uh, stomach, which can uh, lead you to the foodborne illnesses. Thank you very much. Good afternoon everyone, my name is Priya Pandey and I have got the topic probiotics. So the health benefits of consuming the fermented food products like yogurt, they have been taught us for a great number of years. Microorganisms such as lactoacid bacillus and bifidobacterium, their use is rapidly increasing in the field of fermentation products 
probiotics, that is the inoculation of microorganisms in the dietary food products for increasing their nutrition value beyond the basic nutritive value. They can be used for restoring and improving the normal gut flora of human beings. They can also help us in providing antimicrobial properties, anti-cancerous properties. They can help us to lower the cholesterol level of the patient's serum level. One of the best examples of uh, probiotics is acidophilus milk, which is produced from the lactoacid bacillus species. It is a fermented product and it can help us by lowering the cholesterol level, as I said. It has the bacillus species, they have some anti-tumor-like compounds found in their cell walls. So it is proven that they can prevent the colon cancer. Another example is bifidobacterium. Bifidobacterium, they are non-sporulating, non-motile bacteria. And the fermented products which are produced from the bifidobacterium, they can help us in increasing the calcium absorption level and they can also help in synthesizing some B-complex vitamins. Another uh, example of uh, fermented foods are lactic uh, yeast fermentation products like kefir. Kefir, which is a fermented uh, milk product, it has ethanol concentration up to 2% and uh, it is uh, prepared by adding the kefir grains into the milk and it is usually frothed and fluffy because of the carbon dioxide activity. Another example is mold lactic fermentation, villi milk, which is used uh, for the production of another milk uh, fermented product. Another example, cheese production. Cheese, uh, we have been using uh, the cheese for more than 8,000 years ago and now we are having around 2,000 different varieties of cheese. Now cheese uh, products, they can be uh, soft, hard or semi-soft cheeses. Now the final flavor, the taste and the softness of the cheese, it depends on the type of bacteria or the type of microorganism which is used. The examples of cheeses are uh, Swiss cheese, Gouda cheese, the, or microorganisms which are used for the production of cheeses. They are Propneobacterium. Lactococcus, uh, they are used as a starter culture for producing the different varieties of cheese. The CFU unit is uh, 10 raised to the power 9. And uh, after some time, after the several months of aging, the number of uh, the starter lactoacid bacillus, they, it decreases and it actually increases the number of some other non-starter lactoacid bacillus species and they can increase the number after several months or several years of aging. Another example of uh, cheese production is Cheese production is uh, Swiss, uh, Swiss cheese, which is produced by the use of propneobacterium. Camembertai species, they are also used for production of the camembertai cheese. Thank you.
Anita Pillai and well the topic that I received for the external speech today is microbial agents as biopesticides. Uh, now as we all know that uh, biopesticides are uh, uh, pesticides which we use in, a, uh, use in farming for killing of uh, pests. Uh, now bio, bio microbial agents includes microorganisms and it could even include the uh, norm, uh, normal flora which would be present in the environment. E. coli which is generally found inside the soil uh, are such examples of microorganisms uh, which can be used as a microbial agent for biopesticides. Uh, now this uh, biopesticides, the use of uh, biopesticides can be both of uh, beneficial and could have its own side effects of uh, even. Now, the uh, uses uh, which I can say are the plus points of using a biopesticide as a microbial agent uh, can be uh, like uh, uh, by using biopesticides it would uh, uh, enrich, uh, enrichment of soil or uh, in other words it would improve the texture quality of the soil uh, by enhancing the texture quality of soil uh, we can yield more of good products uh, in the crop in the farming sectors uh, now as everything comes uh, with its own side effects uh, uh, biopesticide would also have its uh, like uh, side effects like uh, um, more concentration if we use it uh, rather than the concentration which is needed it would get its side effects to the uh, crops or the fields uh, second uh, uh, biopesticide should be uh, easily available should be of cheaper cost uh, it should not have such any toxic effects which would be released into the environment which would harm uh, human beings or any such organisms present in the environment uh, then uh, it should be uh, easily uh, uh, it should be eco friendly uh, it should be eco friendly then bio uh, pesticides if we talk about bio pesticides um, uh, use of uh, bio pesticides uh, can uh, improve the yielding of the crop, uh, etc. Okay, I end this topic. Uh, thank you.
Good afternoon. My topic is fermentation versus distillation. So basically, in fermentation, it's the production of the alcohol from the sugar, uh, and respiration is basically the transportation of the uh, useful gases. Of, we can call the oxygen from uh, outside the uh, from the 
environment into a body which is basically absorbed by the hemoglobin and uh, it is transported to all the cells and the organelles for the energy production of the cells and for laying of the system. Uh, and basically in the respiration, what's the difference is uh, respiration, uh, it is basically the uh, each and every, uh, like the pulmonary system is involved where uh, uh, where the pulmonary artery, uh, pulmonary artery and the pulmonary vein, which are uh, which carries the oxygenated disoxygenated blood. So oxygenated blood is the oxygen. Uh, sorry, the blood which contains the oxygen. So there in the pulmonary system, there is the exchange of the gases. Gases like the oxygen will be transported to the or absorbed by the uh, oxygen. Uh, sorry, oxygen will be absorbed by the blood and the other uh, gases like CO2 which is not useful for our body will be transported back into the uh, atmosphere but in fermentation the actual the CO2 is utilized uh, for, the, uh, for, for, the uh, for the process of uh, uh, for the production of alcohol uh, there are many bacteria which help us uh, uh, which help for the fermentation like uh, they are the uh, basically the yeast which is useful for, for the fluffiness of the bread which is basically the fermented by of course, fermented and uh, what actually happens in respiration is uh, the Sorry, I thought. Thank you.
which has been provided to me is biofertilizers. Basically, biofertilizers, when it comes to this term, this is all about agricultural microbiology. We have been studying about this in our sixth semester regarding agri agricultural microbiology. It all deals with the study of microorganisms in the soil and how they are beneficial for the agricultural purposes of mankind. So, these are basically meant for the degradation of organic substances. Now we know how much it is important to degrade all those biological waste to continue the cycle of life. They are essential for the nutrition of soil. So far as the nutrition of soil is concerned, it is very important that the soil must contain biofertilizers. And as compared to synthetic fertilizers or you can say artificial fertilizers, they are much more beneficial as they do not degrade the porosity and texture of the soil. Now texture of the soil is very much important when we go for plantation or for the growing of crops you can say. Um, these all facts are known by farmers itself but it is the essential part of microbiology. This biofertilizers have n number of functions. They carry out n number of cycles that is nitrogen cycle, CO2 cycle. The best examples are Rhizobia, Azotobacter, then uh, Anabana, Nostoc. We know about all these bacteria and microorganisms which work in our life cycles, which work in agricultural microbiology as well as soil microbiology. These two topics are combined together because they influence each other. And biofertilizers has been used since has been in use since decades because we know they are much more beneficial over synthetic uh, synthetic bio uh, synthetic fertilizers you can say as we all know artificial fertilizers degrades the quality of soil it degrades the nutrition of soil and there are other factors also which can degrade the soil so what we are supposed to do is we are used to we are supposed to use such things which can improve the soil's quality in spite of degrading it. Now, blue-green algae is also a very good example for the same, which is a which is a, which is a part of nitrogen cycle. You can say which fixes the atmospheric nitrogen. Now, my next point is. Now, my next point is. Are the other functions of biofertilizers? The other functions of biofertilizers are to keep soil nutritious to help the plants to grow properly to provide the nutrition to the uh, to provide the nutrition to the plants to provide the nutrition to the crops and to help in mankind so in all what i want to conclude is it is a uh, vast part or it, you can say it is the vast field of microbiology which is concerned with both agricultural and soil microbiology you all should definitely go for it thank you thanks a lot Gujarat has a vibrant biotechnology sector with more than 200 biotechnology companies, a dynamic ecosystem to promote startups, prominent research and development centers, and many educational institutes. Gujarat stands proud as a pioneer in the country for providing an enabling environment, which includes clearly defined policies, fiscal incentives, and non fiscal support. Gujarat State Biotechnology Mission, GSBTM 
was established by the government of Gujarat as the nodal agency for biotechnology in the state with an objective of catalyzing overall development of biotechnology in the state. Gujarat Biotechnology University GBU formed by the government of Gujarat is first of its kind university dedicated for biotechnology in collaboration with the University of Edinburgh as a knowledge partner.
टू एवरी वन आई एम रूपी काचिया एंड टूडे माई टॉपिक इज अ नेचुरल प्रोसेस ऑफ जीन ट्रांसफर सो जीन ट्रांसफर इज फॉलोड बाय द प्लाज्मिट्स एंड द प्लाज्मिट्स आर ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप्स एक्स ऑफ फर्टिलिटी प्लाज्मिट एफ प्लाज्मिट जन द कॉलेसिनोजेनिक प्लाज्मिट्स देन रेजिस्टेंट प्लाज्मिट देन बी आई प्लाज्मिट ट्रांसफर प्लाज्मिट एंड द मेटाबॉलिक प्लाज्मिट सो जीन ट्रांसफर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू टू मेक द a uh, new strains of a bacteria, uh, bacteria or viruses now the f plasmid or the fertility plasmid include the matting type in a e coli so the the fertility plasmid uh, the f plasmids that contain the fertility plasmid that are called as a donor and which lack it that are a recipient uh, now the resistant plasmid so most of the resistant plasmids are resist to the antibiotic and they also uh, do do the pro, uh, they also uh, process in a matting type of a bacteria uh, resistant plasmid can also passes through the to the uh, different bacterial strain from the e coli to the shigella or the salmonella uh, and uh, due to the uh, due to uh, resistant due to the resistance uh, the various uh, various diseases that occur so it is a difficult to in a treatment of a disease now the uh, polysynogenic plasmids so polysynogenic plasmids are also included in a matting type of a, a matting type now the bi plasmid to the uh, this are the uh, vector uh, vector plasmids and the transfer plasmids include the transfer uh, they, uh, they are the uh, transfer plas plasmid include the trans uh, transfer of a normal cell into the tumor cell and they are the tumor inducing plasmids and some of the uh, agrobacterium strain and that uh, uh, infect the plant uh, and and make the plant tumor cell now the metabolic plasmid include the metab uh, metabolic plasmid include the metabolic transfer uh, this are uh, metabolic plasmid include the metabolic transfer and this are include in a they carry the genes and that uh, the tenkor for certain enzyme and they degrade the toluene then the citrate etc and the metabolic plasmids are also involved in our some of the techniques of the rhizobium thank you विज्ञान 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 मिदम मिदम वक्ष्यम वक्ष्यम तेहम लॉर्ड कृष्णा हैज एक्सप्लेन साइंस इन श्रीमद भगवद गीता आई शैली शाह करंटली परशुइंग माइक्रोबायोलॉजी इन थर्ड इयर जस्ट लाइक दैट फ्रांसिस बेकन हैज राइटली से सम बुक्स आर टू बी टेस्टेड अदर्स टू बी स्वेलोड एंड सम फ्यू टू बी च्यूड एंड डाइजेस्टेड द टॉपिक ऑन विच आई एम गोइंग टू स्पीक कम्स इन द लास्ट कैटेगरी च्यूड एंड डाइजेस्टेड सेल वॉल ऑफ माइक्रोब एंड दैर कंपोजिशन मेनली सेल वॉल इज made up of lipopolysaccharides they are the uh, comes in cytology organism all organisms are made up of cell robert hook who was the first who discovered the cell from cork there are gram positive bacteria gram negative bacteria all are comes in cytology this is a fundamental unit of our life i conclude my speech by remembering george henry louis science is a systematic classification of experience thank you
Myself Patel Sana. My topic is range of fermentation products. So we all know range of fermentation products basically involves dairy products like cheese, yeast, yogurt, and products where, where we can use uh, in 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 it is widely used like for microbial transformation, food production, enzymes, then recombinations, medicines, pesticides, and other sources of nutrients. Fermentation products can be uh, highly used for forming uh, beverages, alcohol, then wheat, bread, etc. Then it can also be used for combination and you can use it in enzymes, producing enzymes, medicines and many nutrients like vitamin B12 and vitamin C and many acids.
Good afternoon, honorable judges and all the professors and my fellow students. My name is Angela and I think I got the most suitable topic for today's my experiment, which is isolation of microorganisms. So microorganisms are my, uh, organisms that cannot be seen with the naked eyes. So we have to see them with the help of microscopes. There are different types of microscopy uh, available, electron microscopes uh, and dark screening and light microscopy. So with the help of that microscopy, we can uh, see the uh, morphological structure of the microorganisms. So how can we isolate the microorganism? Because microorganisms are present in environment in the large number. Uh, because there are maybe two point, around 2.5 billion micro bacteria present in the soil and therefore uh, algae, fungi, protozoa, viruses are also uh, microorganisms. So these are need to be isolated because we want to use them as our products. We can use them with, to produce insulin and other fermentative products and many fertility products can be used with the help of microorganism. So for that we can use screening like primary screening and secondary screening. In primary screening what happens that we get the larger amount of microorganism with the, from the crude sample like from the soil and then we primarily screen them and the secondary, screen, uh, secondary screening in which we use a special type of medias and agar medium uh, to isolate uh, antibiotic producing mi uh, microorganism and organic acid producing microorganism and other vitamin producing microorganism and the other method can be configured with the ground staining with the help of ground staining we can uh, distinguish between a major uh, group of organism which is ground positive and ground negative bacteria with the staining procedure uh, the microorganism that contain peptidoglycan cell wall that uh, retains the color of a saffronine and then that is gram positive which shows the pink color and gram negative that cannot retain the uh, secondary sca uh, secondary stain uh, they are colored in purple color and other method also include the nutrient plates with the help of uh, nutrient plate we can grow a certain microorganism and with the help of their morphological colonical <coughs> characteristic we can distinguish in them and the other is Mekongki and EMB agar plant. Mekongki agar plant uh, plate can be used to distinguish between the lactose fermented lactose non fermented bacteria and the other the EMB agar plate can be used to uh, distinguish between uh, lactose fermenter which is enterobacter and enterobacter C. So these are the techniques we can use and other biochemical media also can be used like uh, tryptophan and other uh, uh, H2S production with the help of this biochemical medias and growths we can also differentiate uh, or isolate microorganisms. So this is all I wanted to tell about the techniques of isolation of bacteria. Thank you so much for listening to me peacefully.
My name is Aishwini and I am here to talk about uh, anabolism and catabolism reactions in cell. 
so what is anabolism and catabolism they are basically metabolic activities happening inside eukaryotic cells uh, so metabolism uh, con me metabolism consists of breaking and making of uh, molecules breaking uh, breaking a sorts to catabolism and making a sorts to or for making a formation of molecules a sorts to anabolism uh, for for uh, better understanding of metabolism i would like to tell you something about cell structure so cell uh, consists of organelles uh, eukaryotic cells uh, consist of different organelles uh, and uh, organisms organelles responsible for anabolism and catabolism are mitochondria and chloroplast and uh, other and rest of the reaction also happens in the cytoplasm of the cell so uh, i'll i'll take example of a plant cell uh, where um, in plant cell anabolism uh, can be uh, done by two ways certain plants called c3 plants uh, uh, use c3 cycle while others use c4 cycle for production of uh, food for for production of food uh, of plant cells and uh, in catabolism uh, glycolysis and krebs cycles uh, a part of it occurs in mitochondria and other half occurs in the peri peri plasmic space between um, pl plasma membrane and cell wall that's it for from my side thank you very much
Gujarat has a vibrant biotechnology sector with more than 200 biotechnology companies, a dynamic ecosystem to promote startups, prominent research and development centers, and many educational institutes. Gujarat stands proud as a pioneer in the country for providing an enabling environment, which includes clearly defined policies, fiscal incentives, and non-fiscal support. Gujarat State Biotechnology Mission, GSBTM, was established by the government of Gujarat as the nodal agency for biotechnology in the state with an objective of catalyzing overall development of biotechnology. My topic is uh, artificial gene transfer. Now, when we hear the word, as the word itself suggests that artificial gene transfer, now uh, transfer of gene from uh, not its uh, Suppose a bacteria is taking the gene from its surrounding or we are in introducing another gene from surrounding then it is called artificially, not naturally, artificially. Naturally bacteria uh, can uh, transfer uh, its gene through a uh, pillar, uh, F factor is responsible for that and uh, uh, this is very important because uh, suppose a bacteria is taking a gene from uh, outside and that gene is responsible for certain uh, uh, virulence then it will become a virulent uh, uh, there are two uh, plasmids also known as there are two classes of plasmids which are very important like bacterial artificial chromosome or uh, and yeast artificial chromosome yeast artificial chromosome are extracted from yeast and it can take up to 1 lakh uh, uh, 1 lakh base pairs of dna there are two scientists stanley and cohen experiment uh, they uh, they uh, performed an experiment for this uh, virulence factor only that there is something in, in that inoculum uh, that makes the bacteria virulent. Yes, that's all. Thank you. Gujarat has a vibrant biotechnology sector with more than 200 biotechnology companies, a dynamic ecosystem to promote startups, prominent research and development centers, and many educational institutes. Gujarat stands proud as a pioneer in the country for providing an enabling environment, which includes clearly defined policies, fiscal incentives, and non fiscal support. Gujarat State Biotechnology Mission, GSBTM was established by the government of Gujarat as the nodal agency for biotechnology in the state with an objective of catalyzing overall development of biotechnology in the state. Gujarat Biotechnology University GBU, formed by the government of Gujarat is first of its kind university dedicated for biotechnology in collaboration with the University of Edinburgh as a knowledge partner. GBU offers programs in all frontier areas of biotechnology and first in the country to masters is by research. Gujarat Biotechnology Research Center GBRC, recognized as a national center of excellence for translational research, provides ready-to-use scientific instruments at concessional rates to students. The state government is developing a thriving biotech cluster in Vadodara with a 223-acre biotech park and Savli Technology and Business Incubator STBI STBI has furnished and equipped laboratories apart from mentoring 
and has been featured amongst the top five public bio incubators of the country. Encouraged by the success of Gujarat Biotechnology Venture Fund, Gujarat State Biotechnology Mission (GSBTM) has instituted the Gujarat Biotech Startup Venture Fund (GBSBF) to support biotech startups and MSMEs through equity-based venture financing. To further strengthen the BT ecosystem, the government of Gujarat is delighted to present Biotechnology Policy 2022-2027 to help the state take a leadership role in national flagship programs such as Make in India, Atman Nirbhar Bharat, and Atal Jai Anusandhan Biotech Mission Unnati. Units with investment over 200 crore rupees or providing direct employment to more than 500 employees will be considered as a mega project and will be offered special incentives. Projects of strategic importance in challenging areas related to emerging technologies, relocating from other countries, states and making Bharat Atman Nirbhar shall also be offered special incentives. Ecosystem strengthening projects such as PPP based projects, pre-clinical trial facilities, animal testing facilities, shared instrumentation, lab facilities, brownfield and greenfield developments shall also be offered special incentives. CAPEX support up to 200 crore rupees shall be given to mega projects and special projects including the ecosystem strengthening projects and CAPEX support up to 40 crore rupees shall be given to rest BT units. OPEX support up to 25 crore rupees per year shall be given to mega projects and special projects including ecosystem strengthening projects and OPEX support up to 5 crore rupees per year shall be given to rest BT units. Stamp duty and registration fee, plant and machinery, building and utilities and technology acquisition have been covered in the capital assistance. Power tariff, patent assistance and quality certification, lease rental and bandwidth, market development have been covered in the operational assistance. Both capital and operational assistance allow flexibility in claiming the incentives. No ceiling shall be imposed on any single head within these bundled assistances. In addition to these, Employment Generation Incentive EGI, up to 60,000 rupees shall be provided for every local employee. Up to 100% reimbursement of employees' contribution of EPF shall be provided. Interest assistance up to 7% on term loan shall be given. 100% reimbursement of electricity duty shall be given. Single point of contact officers will be appointed for ease of doing business. The aim of this policy is to place good Gujarat has a vibrant biotechnology sector with more than 200 biotechnology companies, a dynamic ecosystem to promote startups, prominent research and development centers, and many educational institutes. Gujarat stands proud as a pioneer in the country for providing an enabling environment, which includes clearly defined policies, fiscal incentives, and non-fiscal support. Gujarat State Biotechnology Mission, GSBTM was established by the government of Gujarat the as the nodal has brought agency upon a focus for biotechnology the in the state industry, with an objective of catalyzing overall development with biotechnology, biotechnology in the state. Solutions. Gujarat, biotechnology Gujarat has always University, remained on the forefront GBU, of providing health formed by the government of Gujarat, by pioneering the is first of its kind in university dedicated to biotechnology in collaboration with the University of Edinburgh as a knowledge partner. and pharmaceutical sectors. GBU offers Valued programs in more than frontier areas of biotechnology. Gujarat's biotechnology in the country industry to is a hotbed of scientific breakthrough Gujarat that is leading biotechnology the social economic center GBRC. Recognized as a national center of excellence for translational research, constituted by the provides ready to use and scientific the instruments, sector, which itself has a valuation to of about 20,000. The state government is developing a thriving biotech cluster in Vadodara with a 223 shoulder of biotechnology for formulation and lovely technology implementation of incubators. SDBI. Has been the distinguished entity. SDBI has furnished and equipped laboratories Department apart from mentoring and, and has been featured the amongst the top of five public bio the future ready of the country. Of the Gujarat government Encouraged by the success of Gujarat Biotechnology Venture Fund infrastructure. 
introduction of industry friendly biotechnology mission nurturing resources BT and focus has in towards the Gujarat and biotech startup sector. venture fund GBSBF to support biotech under the Gujarat state MSMEs biotechnology mission equity based the venture financing mandated the promotion of biotechnology activities in the state to further strengthen the policy BT implementation the government of Gujarat is delighted to present skill development biotechnology policy Gujarat 2022 University. 2027 to help the state take a leadership role in national flagship programs year, such as Make in India, Atman Nirbhar Bharat is aiming to and create Atal a culture Jai of Anu excellence and biotech and innovation Unnati. by providing programs Units like with investment over 200 crore rupees or providing biotech direct technology. employment to more than 500 employees will be considered as a mega project with a project deep collaboration and with the University of Special Incentives. A progressive project has been designed for nurturing challenging areas related to emerging technologies, relocating from other countries. The graduates from this university will be prepared for cutting edge shall also be offered special incentives. Ecosystem strengthening projects such as PPP based innovative products, pre clinical trial facilities. Animal the other prominent step is being shared by instrumentation, the state of the art lab facilities, biotech, ground field and green center developments shall also be offered on conventional cutting edge translational research support in the different 200 areas of biotechnology mega projects and special projects including the ecosystem strengthening projects the 200 and and capital support of the 40 crore rupees shall be given to rest will be amongst the best in the country support up to 25 crore in this year shall be given to mega projects and projects and including ecosystem strengthening projects along with incubating and OPEC support like the five crore rupees per year shall be given to rest carry divisions and the aim of stamp the duty and registration fee it also works Plant towards nurturing new building and, and utilities and technology in the acquisition have been covered with the continuous in the capital efforts of the Department of Science Power and Technology patent Many assistance and like quality certification lease rental and bandwidth Market development Concord have been covered in the operational sector biosciences. Bharat Both Biotech capital and, and operational assistance allow flexibility the in claiming the biotechnology No ceiling shall be imposed on Gujarat. any single head during the COVID-19 pandemic. Assistances. Companies from Gujarat in addition have contributed these, significantly generation in global crisis, e.g. by development of up to 60,000 like rupees shall be provided for every local employee. Up to 100% reimbursement of employees' contribution of EPF shall be provided. Interest assistance the Department up to 7% on term loan, loan shall be given. Has proven 100% reimbursement of electricity duty shall be given. Single point of contact officers will be appointed for the global pharmaceutical pie getting the bigger this by policy. the is the Department Gujarat ensuring that its collaborators enjoy the biotechnology that are sector in the country. Of this target of the policy is the to sector. create more than 1.2 lakh employment in the biotechnology the sector. Department Support of at least 500 units is now Businesses inviting you and to put investment in of at least 20,000 crore rupees. And contribute the government of Gujarat reaffirms its commitment to creating a globally competitive humanity. ecosystem for biotechnology in the state by leveraging existing infrastructure as well as building a robust alliance between government, scientific establishments and industries in the sector. Come, join us as a partner in our journey for creating a robust biotechnology ecosystem in Gujarat. The pandemic has brought upon a focus on the global healthcare industry that worked round the clock to save the world with advanced biotechnological solutions. Gujarat has always Gujarat remained has on the forefront of providing sector, healthcare solutions with more than 200 200 by pioneering biotechnology companies in the science, a dynamic ecosystem to promote startups, prominent research and development centers, and many educational and pharmaceutical sectors. Gujarat's value proud more as a pioneer in the country for providing Gujarat's an enabling environment, industry, which includes is a hot clearly defined policies, through fiscal incentives, the social and non-economic upliftment of the society. Gujarat State a Biotechnology Mission percent of this GS3 is constituted by was the established by the government and of the Gujarat as the noble which itself has a valuation of about 20,700 crore rupees, catalyzing overall development and development of emerging technology areas. Gujarat showed the technology ability for formulation and implementation of the biotechnology mission. Gujarat State Biotechnology Mission 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 Gujarat State Biotechnology Mission
GBU offers programs in all frontier areas of biotechnology development and first in the country to masters is introduction of industry friendly Gujarat biotechnology nurturing resources and GBRC towards recognized as a national center of excellence for translational research provides ready to use scientific under the Gujarat state biotechnology to students the department has mandated the state government is developing a thriving biotech cluster in Vadodara emphasizing the 220 implementation of research and development and some technology and business incubator Gujarat biotechnology university STBI has furnished and equipped laboratories which is opening its doors from the coming future amongst the top 5 public bio incubators of the country aiming to create encouraged by the success of Gujarat biotech Technology venture by fund. providing programs like Masters of Research Gujarat State and Biotechnology in Biotechnology GSBTM has instituted the Gujarat Biotech Startup Venture with a deep Fund collaboration GBSBF with the University of Edinburgh to support the biotech startups and MSIs for nurturing critical venture financing and a research-based multidisciplinary training. The graduates to further this strengthen the beauty will be ecosystem for the government of Gujarat is delighted to present research biotechnology and delivery of 2022 2027 to help the state take a leadership role the in other prominent steps being programs taken by setting such up as the making state India, of the art Gujarat Nirbhar Technology and Research Center Anusandhan Biotech with a focus on conducting cutting-edge units with investment over 200 in crore areas of or providing direct employment leading to more than 500 employees and will be considered as a mega the project 250 and will be offered special incentives three plus projects of strategic importance the best in, in the challenging country. areas and will related to emerging industry ecosystem relocating from other governments, the states, university, and making other resources. Manirbhar shall Along also be operating special institutions like Savli Ecosystem Strengthening Project, such as KDB Vision Project, and the aim of the three clinical forward. trial facility. It also works Animal towards testing facilities, new and shared instrumentation, lab the facilities, brown with the field continuous green effort of development of science and technology. Special Many incentives. companies like Cadillac Health Care Limited, support up to 200 crore rupees shall be given to mega projects Concord and Biotech. special projects. Including Hester the ecosystem strengthening project, Bharat Biotech support and many of 40 crore rupees shall be given to rest for biotechnology open support up to 25 crore rupees per year during the COVID-19 mega projects. Companies from Gujarat projects, have contributed in ecosystem strengthening projects crisis, and open support up to 5 crore like rupees like per year shall be given to rest BT units, stamp duty and registration fee, plant and machinery building and utilities and technology acquisition have been covered the Department in the Capital of Science assistance. and Technology of Gujarat Tariff has proven patent time assistance and, and quality that the certification lease rental and bandwidth evolution, market development and have been covered in the operation of the global pharmaceutical pie getting bigger by Both the minute capital the and operation ensuring that it allow flexibility in claiming the, the incentives that are befitting no ceiling of shall be imposed on any single the head sector. within these bundled assistances in addition the to government these, of Gujarat's employment generation of incentive technology EGI is now up to 60,000 rupees to shall be provided for every and local employee and contribute to 100% reimbursement of employees' welfare, contribution and of EPF of shall be provided. Interest assistance up to 7% on term loan shall be given. 100% reimbursement of electricity duty shall be given. Single point of contact officers will be appointed for ease of doing business. The aim of this policy is to place Gujarat amongst the top three states in biotechnology sector in the country. Target of the policy is to create more than 1.2 lakh brought employment a focus in the, the biotechnology sector. Industry. Support at least 500 clock, units to save the world with advanced and attract investment solutions. of at least 20. Gujarat has always remained on the forefront the government of Gujarat reaffirms its commitment to creating a globally science, competitive ecosystem for biotechnology innovation by leveraging the existing infrastructure and pharmaceutical as well as sectors. building a robust alliance between more than government, scientific Gujarat's biotechnology and industries in the is a hotbed of scientific breakthrough that is leading the socio-economic upjoin us of as the a society in our a journey of creating a six percent of this industry is constituted by the pharmaceutical and, and the health care sector which itself has a valuation of about 20,700 crore rupees ensuring the growth and development of new and emerging technology areas and shouldering the responsibility Gujarat for formulation and implementation of with more than 200 biotechnology has been the companies entity, a dynamic ecosystem to promote startups the prominent research and development and centers and many the educational institutes 
the Gujarat future ready stands approach of the Gujarat pioneer government in the country in for providing an enabling environment, a which includes clearly defined policies, industry fiscal incentives, policies, and nurturing skill sources, and focusing Gujarat's towards research and biotechnology in the sector. GSBTM was established by the government of Gujarat under the Gujarat the State Biotechnology for Mission. Biotechnology the department in the state mandated with an objective the of catalyzing the overall development of biotechnology in the state, emphasizing on policy Gujarat implementation, biotechnology research and development, GBU, and skill development. formed by the government of Gujarat, Gujarat is first of its kind university, university dedicated for biotechnology, in collaboration with the University of the Edinburgh Edinburgh Academic Knowledge Partner. GBU offers programs in is all frontier areas of biotechnology and, and first in the country by providing masters programs like research. Masters of Research and Gujarat PhD Biotechnology in Biotech research Center, GBRC, recognized as a national center of excellence with a deep for translation research, with the University of provides Edinburgh, ready to use a progressive instrument has been designed for nurturing critical thinkers. The and state government is developing a thriving biotech cluster in the graduates from this university will be prepared for biotech park and product focused technology and business for creation and delivery of a strong pipeline of SDBI has furnished and equipped laboratories apart from mentoring. The other prominent has been featured amongst the setting up by state of the art bio incubators of the country, leading to product has instituted the Gujarat biotech startup venture fund. 250 bio 